Okay guys, you're welcome back. Um, video number 19. Our uh, brown bread and scones has been an absolutely huge success. Uh, so lovely to wake up this morning and I had pictures from people I had no clue who they were. And their breads and their scones and the kids in the background laughing. Um, I had another picture from Mayo where it was nearly been eaten out of the oven as soon as it was out it was nearly eaten. And uh, a lovely video of kids uh, jumping and dancing with joy when they came out of the oven. People, it's amazing. There's people that has never seen bread coming out of an oven in their own house, okay? so. Uh, a guy sent in a message to me, um, Owen, down in Dahuma in Mayo. Um, if he's hired for Owen this year, he's a staunch Liverpool supporter and a staunch Mayo supporter. And Liverpool have one hand in the cup, and Mayo look like winning the All Ireland this year. So, uh, unfortunately, neither of them is probably going to happen. But, anyways, he asked me to make some um, fresh cornbread or uh, fruit bread or whatever, okay? Uh, it's just an alternative to it's nice to have with him. Um, and we'll make a few fruit scones. It's nice to have a little bit of jam and a mug of tea about 11 o'clock in the day or whatever, okay? So basically, in here, I've got a pound and a half flour. I'm going to make a pound loaf tin of um, the bread, and then I'll make a few scones as well. Think about scones, you can put them into a freezer bag, put them into your freezer, and they're there. Take them out when you want them, let, uh, let them thaw out for an hour or so, heat them up in the microwave, heat them up in your oven, okay? So it's a pound and a half of um, flour in there, okay? Into that, I'm putting kind of two baking powder, two bread soda, not, not deep, okay, okay, pinch of salt into that, a little bit of sugar, okay, depending on how sweet you want to make it, like, I don't like making too sweet because if you're using jam on them or whatever, the jam can be sweet as well, so the bread is sweet and the jam is sweet, you know, there's no fun in that, uh, okay, into that, I have about half a cup of butter, okay? And basically, the hands have been sterilized, like, in you go. So basically, in there is a pound and a half of flour, two spoons of baking powder, two spoons of bread soda, um, some sugar, and some salt, okay? You mix it up to get all the butter into it. Kind of lift up your hands, that there it gets into the bread, it'll make it a bit lighter. Uh, when you make the bread and when you have it finished in your loaf tin, if you could leave it half hour before you put it in the oven, what that does, it kind of gets the, the raisin agents like the baking powder and bread soda to start working in the heat, and you'll see your little loaf rising slowly before you put it in the oven. That just makes for a lighter bread and um, a lighter bread, and uh, you know you have actually a bigger loaf, so you have actually more bread, and it's not as compact. Okay, off the hands. Okay, into that. We're putting some sultanas, whatever you want yourself, uh, raisins, sultanas, currants, whatever. Uh, sultanas out here, use whatever you have in the house. That's what all this is about. And rather than out buying big, uh, oh, you have to buy 24 loaves of bread today, make two loaves. Okay, I like cherries in my uh, fruit bread, so, and I have some there in the cold room I want to use up. So, and I'm doing this half in them. Just like that. Okay. Um, into that goes one egg. Now you see how fast all this has been done. One egg into that. That milk. Now, if you have uh, if your milk at home gone sour because everyone bought too much milk, uh, use it. Um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. If it's a day or two out of date, nothing wrong with it. If it's all curled inside in the bottle, it's fine. It's going in here, uh, it'll be all mixed in, it's been cooked in an oven for 40 minutes and um, that's what, like when we were growing up, it was buttermilk or sour milk, was, you know, we used to make all, milk all around cows and that, and it was buttermilk and, um, and sour milk that was used in all the baking. Now, rather than using all the milk, I put a small drop of water in, okay, just to keep it, and, um, you know, it just saves on, on, it saves on the cost of the bread. Um, thing about this, as you've seen with the, um, the soda bread we made and the brown scones we made, um, I like to have it nice and soft, you know. Just keep adding in gently until you get the consistency you want. You might get it right the first time you make it, but you'll get it right after that. And the thing about it is, um, once you get used to making this, you'll throw it together in no time at all, okay? You know, the drier you leave your bread, uh, the drier the bread will be kind of when it's cooked. Okay, so basically, like the other one, punch a flour on your table, don't be afraid of it. Okay, out with it. 
any excess in the tank with any bit of dry flour, rub your hand around it. That'll take everything out. Get rid of that. Flour on your hands. I like the last one. Make sure there's nothing sticking. Okay, and then you start kneading, okay? So before, turn, push, turn, push, turn, push. <laughs> I, think, I think it was a doctor. <laughs> okay. So that's all that, okay? Bring it around. You see that there? Lovely, soft bread. All right, so I'm gonna take about a pound of that off. And these are all, like as I said before with the bread, it's approximate. If you have a little bit too much flour in there, if a little too much this in, it's, it's all right, it's okay. Do you know? So basically I have my two tins here that I'm going to use them. And my oil. So a little bit of oil in each one. Okay, uh, t uh, tissue or um, serviette. Dry off any excess oil. I want your flour. Excess oil here, rub that in. Take it out, you don't want greasy bread in there. Any excess, off with it, and onto your table. Okay, in here goes this. Push down. And we put a little crisscross on top. Flour on your knife, so it doesn't stick to it. Down the middle, with a bit of flour and kind of open it up. All right, same this across the middle here again. What that does, it prevents it uh, bursting at the side. And then if it bursts at the side, see, that'll rise up now and it'll split out. So when you're cutting it, you'll be able to cut through it. Whereas if you don't put the crisscross in it, it'll split it at the side. When you go cutting it, the whole cap will come off it. And the cap is tonight with the crust of it, okay? So basically that's our soda bread. Okay. This is the bit that's left over. You know, and you don't have to bake every day, you can bake every third day. You know, make enough, like all you have to do is kind of double up on what I have given you, whatever, okay? So basically, kind of that size there. Flour on your thing, whatever you have at home, if you have a pastry cutter, great. If you only have a glass, great. Whatever you have, you don't need to go out and buy anything for this. Okay, so onto your flour tray, no excess flour, no excess oil on it. Okay, you can make these. If any of them survive, you can freeze them, but they probably won't. They'll be devoured as soon as they're out. Lovely hot. Okay, and the last one, as we call it, the tasty one. Roll it all up together, get a nice smooth surface on top. Roll it around, like that, pat it down. There you go. Okay, right, a little bit of egg wash done up here, which I've done the, uh, um, so the first thing to do is, it's just an egg beaten up with a little bit of milk and sugar, and up on top of that, make sure your cut is widened out, and then just do the top of these as well. Okay, the scones will be going to the oven for about 18 minutes at 182 degrees, 84, 184 degrees, in around that, okay, 182, 184. And most people have fan oven now. Uh, if you don't have a fan oven in the range, it might take a little bit longer, but a fan oven circulates the heat evenly. Okay, so that's the two of them done. As I said, the last time you have any seeds, sesame seeds, chai seeds, or anything like that, bang if you want. I'll put a few on some of these and I'll leave a few without, so you can see the difference. And they're on top of the fruit bread as well, okay? So basically, that there, but we have seven scones made and a nice loaf and all made in less than eight minutes say okay uh, i'll put them in the oven now and i'll show you the video when they come out again cheers guys thanks okay guys just to wrap up um here our scones and our bread as you can see lovely height lovely color golden a few sultanas coming through there there's cherries inside um our scones are there very very light very airy some sesame seeds and how easy it was to make. That bread was made in less than nine minutes. If you were to make a double batch, you could have, you could have three loaves and still your six or seven scones. 
that's how easy it is. And the, uh, these, the scones were in the oven for 18 minutes at 182 degrees, and the loaf, the one pound loaf tin, was in the oven at 182 degrees for 40 minutes. So bang two of them in the oven together, 18 minutes, and put your oven back on for 22 minutes. And, um, you know, so that's it. Absolutely gorgeous. So same as the brown bread, try it out at home. you love it, kids will love it. Just to recap on everything else we've done today, all the dishes took less than 10 minutes to make. They're all fresh. Some look a bit tired now because they're sitting here the last hour or two or whatever. But just to recap, okay? We had the stir fry, okay? Um, very, very tasty. We had the enchilada, bit of salad inside of that, whatever. The first dish we've done was the carbonara with the garlic bread. Then we've done the kind of pizza for the kids. Look, it's, it's a very, very thin base, it's whatever. You know, I was saying, like, I mean, it'd be hard to lift it up and everything else, but no, look at that. You can pick it up and eat in your hand if you want. And then we rolled up the other pizza that we've done and little bite size things for um, the kids. So um, that's today's offerings, guys. Again, uh, easy to do. It's all about planning, all about buying the right stuff in and um, not, um, not wasting nothing. Okay? Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.